Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to tell you about a company that has increased its revenue by 90% since last year. Its stock price has increased threefold since the beginning of this year. And the name of the company that I want to talk to you about is CrowdStrike, ticker symbol CRWD. So if you're not doing anything, sit back and perhaps grab yourself a Zabiha drink, maybe a pumpkin spice latte because the color of my sweater reminds you of one. And without further ado, let's get started. CrowdStrike offers a cloud-based replacement for antivirus and threat intelligence software. Basically, that's just another way of saying CrowdStrike offers organizations protection from different types of cyber attacks and malware. What is unique about CrowdStrike's solution is that since it is a cloud-based platform, whenever one of its customers experiences a cyber attack, the lessons learned from this attack can be used to immediately improve the software, which reflects itself in the experiences of all the other customers of CrowdStrike's platform. So in this respect, it is somewhat analogous to Google, wherein the more people use Google, the better the algorithm becomes and the better search results customers of Google get. So the larger the network of customers that use CrowdStrike becomes, the more effective the protection that CrowdStrike offers its customers becomes as well. Now, when talking about cyber attacks, it's important to remember the size of the problem here. In 2015, it was estimated that the damage caused by various cyber attacks worldwide was close to $3 trillion. In 2021, only six years later, the damage is estimated to be around $6 trillion. So there is a huge demand for protection from these various cyber attacks, and this has caused phenomenal growth for CrowdStrike. As of July 31st, 2020, CrowdStrike subscription customers grew 91% compared to just a year ago, while annual recurring revenue grew 87% compared to just one year ago. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, I'd encourage you to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that. Now back to CrowdStrike, let's talk about their financials and let's start with their degree of reliance on interest in their operations. For the six months ended July 31st, 2020, interest expense for CrowdStrike was around 317,000. Total operating expenses for CrowdStrike was close to 328 million. So interest expense divided by total operating expense is less than 1%. So while the use of interest isn't the ideal level of zero, it is very small compared to the size of the company's operations. And I'm very comfortable saying that CrowdStrike does not rely on interest in its operations. CrowdStrike is currently unprofitable, but they are expected to reach break even soon. And they have enough cash to reach this point. They have over $1 billion in cash and cash equivalents. Second quarter free cash flow improved from negative 29 million in the year ago period to positive 32 million this year. So it looks like they're going to have all the cash they need in order to reach profitability. Year to date, CrowdStrike's stock has been doing very well. They started the year at around $50 a share and currently are trading at around three times the price at almost $135 a share, imputing a valuation of close to $30 billion. Now, at a $30 billion valuation, CrowdStrike's price to sales ratio is close to 45. For comparison, if we were to compare it to Salesforce, Salesforce price to sales ratio is around 11. Now, I totally understand that the growth prospects for CrowdStrike are way more attractive than what they are for Salesforce, but the two companies do primarily sell software as a service as their primary product to generate revenue. There's also something that I find that is somewhat concerning about CrowdStrike, and that is their insider trading. Insider trading has all been on the sell side for CrowdStrike for the past 12 months. 18 million in stock was sold in the last three months, 
around 8 million in the three months before that, around 174,000 in the three months before that, and 3.3 million around 12 months ago. And there is nothing on the shares bought side. So as an investor, this puts a dent in my confidence in this stock if insiders themselves don't see the stock as a bargain and are much more inclined to sell their shares rather than buy them. So in summary, as it relates to CrowdStrike, I find that this is a halal stock to invest in on account that its revenue primarily comes from halal. In fact, I couldn't find anything in their revenue that was haram and their use of interest is very minimal. It is certainly the case that they are not reliant on interest in order to operate. And I think that they're having a net positive impact on environment and society by helping combat cybercrime, which can have really destructive effects on its victims. However, as an investment, I'm gonna stay away from CrowdStrike for the time being because I do think its valuation is a bit too rich for my liking as it stands right now. I'll take another look at it if its price falls to below $100 per share. So its price to sales ratio is in the low 30s or upper 20s. If it falls to that point, I'll take another look at it. But for now, I just think that there are more attractive opportunities out there and I'll probably be better served employing my cash elsewhere. Obviously, do your own due diligence. This is not investment advice. If you'd like to buy stocks in the United States, try out Amon Finance. Use the link in the description to support the channel. If you haven't liked and subscribed already, I encourage you to do that if you found this video beneficial. And until next time, make sure to take care of yourself. Assalamu alaikum and peace be upon you all.